Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. In the previous video, I have implemented the functionality of Postcard API in Spring Boot. Today in this video, we will call this API from Angular. So let's get started. So you can see the admin service. So on the top, I'm going to initialize a variable that is a phone's basic URL. So in this URL, we need to save the URL of our backend application. So it will be a http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080. So in the constructor, I'm going to inject http client. So after that, I'm going to create here a method that is a post card. So in the argument, it will receive card detail that is a type of any. And here I'm going to add observable. And it will return this dot http dot post. So here I'm going to add basic URL. And after that, we need to add the URL of the API that is a slash API slash admin slash card. And we also need to pass here our DT object. So in this request, we need to set the admin token into the header. So here I'm going to add the libraces and here we need to call method that is a this dot create authorization. So after that, I'm going to add the code. So let me import this HTTP headers. And here we need to call method from our storage service that is a storage service dot get token. And you can see I have added here the key that is authorization and the value of this key that is a barrier space and the token over here. So with this request, we need to set the token into the header. That's why I have added here the start authorization. And in this, we are getting the token from our local storage. So let me add here headers and the colon over here. And here we need to call this method that is a create authorization header. Okay, now you can see error removed. After that, we need to call this method from our postcard component.ps. So in this file, I'm going to inject our admin service in the constructor. So it will be a private admin service. And the admin service over here. So here we need to call this dot admin service dot postcard method. And here we need to pass form data. Let's subscribe this and save the response into this variable that is rs. And here I'm going to show the notification service to the admin. That is a car posted successfully. So let's go to our constructor. And here I'm going to add private message from and the message service. Here I'm going to add this dot message dot success and here we need to pass the message that is a bar posted successfully and I have added here the duration of this notification that is a five second. So here I'm going to add console.log to print the result into the console. So in case of error, we need to show a new notification. So here I'm going to add error and the and over here and here we need to show this dot message dot error and the message over here that is a error while posting card and the duration i'm going to add here that is a one second So we also need to navigate the admin to the dashboard after the posting car. So here in the constructor, I'm going to add private router and the router over here. So here I'm going to call this dot 
router dot navigate by url and here we need to pass the url of our admin dashboard that is a slash admin slash dashboard from the top i'm going to call here this dot is spinning that is a true because we need to show the loader whenever api is under processing after getting the response we need to stop the loading so here we need to call this dot is spinning that is a false and let me check what is the issue with this okay so here we need to add the is equals to and here i'm going to add boolean is equals to false okay now you can see issue resolved so we also need to add here is equals to between the value and you can see error removed let's go to our ui and here i'm going to refresh the component let's log in the admin so let's go to our post car component and here i'm going to add the image of the car let's choose the file let me add here the brand name like bmw and here i'm going to add the name x7 and the type that is a hybrid transmission automatic select color black and here i'm going to add the year like 2024 and the price per day that is a thousand dollar and the description bmw x7 before posting car let me open the inspect and let's click on this post car button and you can see the notification that is a car posted successfully and it's also navigate us to the admin dashboard so let's go to our network and you can see the api that we are getting the response that is a 201 created and you can see the request method that is a post and you can see the url let's go to our database and you can see the details of the car so let's go to our ui and let's post another car so let me choose the file and the brand name like audi and here i'm going to add the name audi a8 transmission automatic select color black model year 2024 price i'm going to add like 1200 and the description audi a8 let's click on this post car and you can see car posted successfully and it's also navigate us to admin dashboard let me refresh the car table and you can see the details of the second car so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye